Um, Marquito and Andrea, can you listen to me? Marquito. I think no. No, right? They can't. Because I see the, the imagine and it's frozen. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the picture is frozen. I don't know what happened. Yeah. All right. Okay. They will join in a moment, I guess. Okay, yes, you guys. No so let's let's move on, okay? Let's move on. So, uh, David, uh, can you react to Diana's a uh, uh, Diana's sentence, please. Okay. Come on, Diana. Read I your start. Saturday, I went to the doctor. Oh, it must be exciting. Really? <laughs> 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 When did you go to the doctor, Daniel? Uh, because I feel a little bad. Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay, well, well that's, exciting it was not, right? It was not exciting. That, that situation is imaginary. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> the All next, right. Diana. Next, Diana. Saturday, I went to my high school. Oh. You must be motivated. Yes. Uh. <laughs> I feel nervous because three months. Oh. I think it's you have feelings for this. Okay. Okay. Hey. Are you taking another class? In your high school? No, but my father forgot always in the high school, and I and I went to. That's okay. He worked in my high school. Okay. There is. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay. Other one. You must be excellent. <laughs> <laughs> mm, so, so. All, right. All right. Now, David, can you read your sentences? And, and Marquito, you respond, please, to David's sentence. Hey, are you ready, Marquitos? Yes. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, you know, this morning I had to get up at five. Uh, that, that. That must be hard. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that must be what I I didn't hear. Hard. That is hard. Uh, hard. Yeah. 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 I am. I am sleepy. Yeah. <laughs> Next, please. Okay. The the reason. I had to get up at five. It was, I drived for five hours from Mexico City to Acapulco. Okay. Um, um, that, that was, must be. Tired. 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 Because I am tired. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That must be tiring. Tiring, tiring. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, tiring. <laughs> About the situation. Exactly. That must be tiring, actually. Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Now, uh, Marquito, read your sentence, okay? And Marco, you, you respond, okay? 
Okay. Tomorrow I'm going to take my mathematics class. Ah. That, that means that must be exciting. Yeah. Because uh, there uh, more things is uh, is very uh, interesting. Okay. Um, uh, in a month, I'm going to come back to the class. In them. Okay. In a month, I'm going to come back to the class. Oh, uh, that that must be um, happy because uh, I I have almost. Uh, Four months uh, uh, in the house. <laughs> yeah. For the coronavirus. <laughs> exactly. Yes. <laughs> so Marco, you says you must be you must be happy, right? Okay. Yeah, you must be happy. Very good. Okay. okay. Yes. All right. All right. Uh, let's everybody. Okay. Uh, Andrea, read your sentences, please. Okay, and Diana, you react. Come on. Okay. I wake up at um, 8.30 every morning. 8.30 what? I wake up at 8.30 every morning. Really? Okay. Must be... Huh? That must be <laughs> what? Because very early. Okay. That must be really early. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. One more one more time, please, Andrea. Okay. I okay. I wake up. At, no, at no, I mean a different, a different sentence. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I am starting to speak at three. Can you repeat, please? I am starting to speak at three. What? There it is. Ah, I started to watch series. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. That must be interesting. Exactly, that must be interesting. Okay, very good. Yes. Okay, you guys. Now, listen up. Uh, okay, let's move on, guys, to the next part in the strategy plus. Okay. In the strategy plus, we have you see and I see, okay? Now, look at the use of these two expressions. So, you can use, look, you can use you see to explain something, to explain something that the other person might, might not know, okay? Yes? So, you see to explain, yes? Now, 
I see you use it to show that you understand that you that you understand something that you didn't know earlier. Okay. For example, look at the, look at the people here. You see, I used to practice every morning. So you are explaining. Okay. All right. Now, look at look at the other. The bank keeps me motivated to practice. That's why I join. I see. I understand. Okay. Yes. And uh, and and guys, look. I see and you see. Look at the in conversation. Are in the top nine hundred words and expressions. Okay. So, uh, guys, in the next part. You are going to ask the question, okay? The other letter B, student B, is going to react, okay? All right? Is going to react to the conversation, okay? And you are and you are going to answer with true information, okay? For example, look, look at number one. Yes. Look at the example uh, explanation here. Yes. In this part, uh, go ahead, please, um, uh, Marco. You are A, David. You are B. Look at the example conversation here at the bottom. You want to live abroad someday? Not really. You see, I'm a lawyer and I can't practice in another country. I see. So, would you like to take a vacation in foreign country? Okay. Yeah, I would like to take a vacation in foreign country. Exactly. And then you continue the conversation as long as you can. All right? Yes. Okay. For example, yeah, it's basically, it's basically this information. Okay. Look at the instruction. Okay. Letter A, ask the question. Letter B, respond, okay? Respond, uh, uh, explaining, explaining. Letter B explains, not really. You see, I'm a lawyer, I can practice, blah, 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 okay? So that's, you're explaining, okay? And the other, again, letter A, I see, okay? So he understands his situation and continue the conversation. Is that clear, you guys? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Very good. So uh, let's go to, to the chat rooms. Okay. All right. And uh, practice one, two, and three. All right. I'm going to give you like seven minutes uh, uh, practice. All right. For you to practice uh, the, the three, the three, the three uh, uh, parts. Okay. So here we go, you guys. Come on. Uh, wait. Here we go. All right, you guys, uh, thank you for your uh, conversations, okay? Good job on that. 
Uh, let's move on to the next part, please. I would appreciate if you go to the listening. Okay, go to the listening, please. Page 112, lesson C. Uh, can you read the instructions, please, of the listening, uh, uh, Marco? Okay, number three. Yeah, okay. go, go to the listening, please. Okay, people and situation. Uh, listen to the whole conversation. Mark each person with the situation he or she explains. Okay, very good. So here we go, you guys. Wait a second, please. Okay, I'm gonna start. Um, there you go. Okay. So we have Mark, Angela, Linda, and David, okay? So much each person with the situation he or she explains, okay? So here we go, you guys. Page 113, three, listening, people and situations. A, listen to the four conversations, match each person with the situation he or she explains. One, Mark, Haynes. One, Mark, hey, hey Mark. Can you, guys, can you guys listen, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Conversations. Match each person with the situation he or she explains. One, Mark. Hey, Mark. How are your tennis lessons going? Oh, not too bad. You've been taking lessons for a couple of years now. You must be pretty good. Well, not really. You see, I never have time to practice much. I work late every night, so I really just play one hour a week. You know, when I have my lesson on Saturday morning. Two, Angela. Is that your Spanish textbook, Angela? Yeah, I'm trying to improve my Spanish. I haven't really studied it since high school. Huh, you must be really motivated. Yeah, I am. You see, I'm going to Mexico next month, and I want to be able to talk to people. It'll be my first trip, actually. I'm really looking forward to it. Three, Linda. Congratulations, Linda. I just heard that you won a scholarship to study in Italy. Thanks. Yeah, I can't believe it. I'm going to Rome in September. How wonderful. You must be so excited. Yeah, I really am. You see, I've always dreamed of studying art in Europe. You're so lucky. Did any other people from here get a scholarship? No. Actually, I'm the only person to win this year. Four. David. What have you been doing, David? I haven't seen you around much lately. Well, I've been studying for this math exam at school. Oh, that must be hard. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about it. You see, I haven't been studying a lot this year, so I don't know if I can pass it. So when's the exam? It's on Monday next week. If I fail the exam, I'll have to take the math class again next year. Page 100. All right. So listen one more time, you guys. Listen one more time, please. Page 113. Three, listening, people and situations. A, listen to the four conversations. Match each person with the situation he or she explains. One, Mark. Hey, Mark. How are your tennis lessons going? 
Oh, not too bad. You've been taking lessons for a couple of years now. You must be pretty good. Well, not really. You see, I never have time to practice much. I work late every night, so I really just play one hour a week. You know, when I have my lesson on Saturday morning. Two, Angela. Is that your Spanish textbook, Angela? Yeah, I'm trying to improve my Spanish. I haven't really studied it since high school. Huh, you must be really motivated. Yeah, I am. You see, I'm going to Mexico next month and I want to be able to talk to people. It'll be my first trip, actually. I'm really looking forward to it. Three, Linda. Congratulations, Linda. I just heard that you won a scholarship to study in Italy. Thanks. Yeah, I can't believe it. I'm going to Rome in September. How wonderful. You must be so excited. Yeah, I really am. You see, I've always dreamed of studying art in Europe. You're so lucky. Did any other people from here get a scholarship? No. Actually, I'm the only person to win this year. Four. David. What have you been doing, David? I haven't seen you around much lately. Well, I've been studying for this math exam at school. Oh, that must be hard. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about it. You see, I haven't been studying a lot this year, so I don't know if I can pass it. So when's the exam? It's on Monday next week. If I fail the exam, I'll have to take the math class again next year. Okay, you guys. So let's everybody check. Uh, let's check the uh, the first person, which is Mark. Okay. So what about Mark, you guys? What's the situation of Mark? Doesn't have enough time to practice. Enough time to practice. Excellent. That's a letter. C. E. Letter C. Very good. Yes. All right. Now, what about Angela? What happened with Angela? C. Wants to be able to support to people while on vacation. All right. Excellent. That's the letter D. What about Linda? I saw her dreaming. studying a lot this year. Okay. A uh, lot this year. She got a scholarship, right? To study what? Um, As always, dreaming of the study art. Okay, excellent. Yeah, she has always dreamed to study art. Very good. So the last one is David, right? Yeah, hasn't been studying a lot this year. Okay. Now, guys, at the end of each of each uh, person's dialogue they they mention something okay yes for example um i remember that linda got a scholarship and she was the only one the only student that got the scholarship i listen you must be exciting oh yeah yeah i mean she's excited because she got the scholarship okay but then later Later, she mentions that she's the only one. So, how can you react? How can you react to that comment that she's the only one? And and what 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 can you say? What what can you respond to each person using must? For example, what can you say to Linda? She's the only one with the scholarship in the school. For example. Okay. How how can you respond to that, guys? Uh, Linda uh, must uh, study more uh, for queen. Uh, 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 
studying art. Okay. Yeah, so you you can tell like what? You must be what? I study more. No, no, no. How can you react? You must be what? Fighting. You must be happy. Proud. You must be proud. Okay. Okay? So you have to react to, I mean, telling the people, all right? Yes? Telling the, the, the people that you understand the, the situation, okay? So listen one more time to the people, okay? And write... A, write a response using must, okay? okay? Using must. For example, you must be what, all right? Mm -hmm. So here we go, guys, one more time. Okay. Page 113. Three, listening, people and situations. B, listen again, show you understand. Write a response to each person using must. One, Mark. Hey, Mark. How are your tennis lessons going? Oh, not too bad. You've been taking lessons for a couple of years now. You must be pretty good. Well, not really. You see, I never have time to practice much. I work late every night, so I really just play one hour a week. You know, when I have my lesson on Saturday morning. Two, Angela. Is that your Spanish textbook, Angela? Yeah, I'm trying to improve my Spanish. I haven't really studied it since high school. Huh, you must be really motivated. Yeah, I am. You see, I'm going to Mexico next month, and I want to be able to talk to people. It'll be my first trip, actually. I'm really looking forward to it. Three, Linda. Congratulations, Linda. I just heard that you won a scholarship to study in Italy. Thanks. Yeah, I can't believe it. I'm going to Rome in September. How wonderful. You must be so excited. Yeah, I really am. You see, I've always dreamed of studying art in Europe. You're so lucky. Did any other people from here get a scholarship? No. Actually... I'm the only person to win this year. Four, David. What have you been doing, David? I haven't seen you around much lately. Well, I've been studying for this math exam at school. Oh, that must be hard. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about it. You see, I haven't been studying a lot this year, so I don't know if I can pass it. So, when's the exam? It's on Monday, next week. If I fail the exam, I'll have to take the math class again next year. Page. Okay, so, for example, guys, look at Mark. Okay, Mark doesn't have enough breakfast. So, what can you tell? What can you tell this guy, Mark? Mark must be frustrated. Exactly, yeah. You must be frustrated. Very good. What about Angela? Angela wants to be able to talk to people while on vacation. She wants to learn the Spanish. Uh, Angela must be excited. Exactly, very good. You must be <coughs> excited. Yeah, very good. What about Linda? She won a scholarship. What did you mention a while ago? You must be Linda, what? Linda must be happy. Must be happy, exactly. Must be proud. So excited. Excited, exactly, yes. All right, happy, proud, excited, okay? And what about this guy, David? He hasn't been studying a lot. David 
must be annoyed, annoyed with himself. You um, must be uh, that tired. That must be hard. Must that, be that must tired. be hard. But imagine if he doesn't pass the exam, he will have to take courses. Okay? So what what happens? What's the feeling when you have an exam? What's the feeling? How do you feel? Nervous. Nervous, right? So I'm you serious. must be nervous, anxious. Yes, very good. All right, you guys, excellent. Okay, look, uh, guys, we're gonna we're gonna stop here. But before we move on, uh, tell me what do we practice today, you guys? Come on, what expressions do you remember? Uh, you must be. Okay, you must be to to explain or to under to understand a situation. Um, no, you see is for explain and I see it's for understand. Exactly. Very good. Very good. Excellent. And the expressions, right? The expressions that that must be. And okay. You must be. Exactly. Yes expressions like that must be to show that you understand someone's situation okay very good you guys now look we're gonna stop here you guys uh, um, and well for homework you will have page 86, 86 and 87 and 87 exactly very good okay so uh guys um i will see you tomorrow okay have a nice evening okay you guys Bye bye. Take care. Bye. 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 See you. Bye bye. See you. Everyone. See you guys. Bye bye. <laughs>